think this is Holly Marie Combs. <laughs> you're, you're, you're pretty. Thank you. Yeah. I'm no, trying. You, but you're also not a little liar, so that's a good thing. No, no you no. are not. A, you are just pretty, not a little liar. Right. Yes. Yeah. Not one of the little ones, and I mm, thankfully you. didn't turn out to be one of the liars. No. Which is good. That, yeah. That worked out pretty well for no, you. No, my character was one of the only ones that didn't do something terrible and dastardly or kill someone. And, and some would say that that means that your life has been charmed. Yes. You've, sure. you've gone from Charmed, which was, was how many years of your life? That was Eight. eight. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Yeah. <laughs> eight <laughs> years of my life. No, no, no. In a positive, <laughs> happy way. Right. Yeah. That's how you meant it. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Right. That's how I meant it. That's whether that's how you took it or not, I don't know. <laughs> but now, then Pretty Little Liars, mm -hmm. like uh, another was, ensemble thing, working with yeah. a lot of, of people. Girls. Yeah. A lot of girls, you can say. Yeah. Is, is, is that sort of a, a thing for your career? Is it the, the wanting to work in, in strong female ensembles? Wanting or? to? <laughs> no. No, I'm kidding. Just being forced into <laughs> it. <laughs> Somehow, <laughs> I find myself there. No, um, no. These, these group of girls, I mean, on my show, we were, we were trouble. <laughs> we were in trouble. On, on your show? Which one yeah, do you design? Charmed. Right, <laughs> charmed. Okay, yeah. You know, I just feel like I was a part of Pretty Little Liars. It definitely right. wasn't my show. I mean, it was it was successful on its own without me. It was kind of like a machine that just kept running. Whereas to Charmed the, was very definitely. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah you I was guys. driving that horse. <laughs> I was beating that dead horse for a while. No. no. Oh, yeah. Oh. Um, <laughs> but, you know, the girls on Pretty Little Liars, they were very dedicated and determined to make it a success. And they were very professional mm. and they were very yeah. <laughs> they, were just, they were just dedicated very and, and working dedicated. hard. So, so, okay, there are rumors about trying to bring Charmed back. Is that a thing that you could ever see happening? Do you want it to happen? You know what? It's funny because people keep talking about it. The fans keep talking about it more and more, not less, more and more. So I don't know how CBS isn't hearing it. Um, who owns the show What do we now? need to do? Do we need to write letters? Do we need to... People uh, have. I mean, there's petitions. There's all sorts of stuff. We had a comic book for 10 years. Yeah, yeah. And they announced the end of that. Which I thought was suitable. It was yeah. 10 years later. And then they suddenly announced a new comic book, like season 11. Like, less than six months later, I was like, huh, wait, didn't, what? Didn't we just stop that? Right. So all the fans got confused and said they're bringing Charm back. No, they're bringing back the comic right. book. Okay. Which it was kind of like misleading and got everybody in a tizzy again. I just, I don't even know who to call there to gripe about it. But I'm going to have to find somebody because I'm like, can you stop? Yeah. Like just, just throwing that name out there and then not doing anything with it's, it. It's a, like, it's a nasty tease for the people. It kind of is. And that would then make you a pretty little liar. Who are you dressed as? I am Star Guardian Lux from League of Legends. And I am Kura Kiva from Food Wars. Why did you choose to cosplay as these characters? Um, I'm a big fan of the game and I love this character the most. So yeah. <laughs> and this guy's personality matches mine own, so I thought why not? Hang on, which one do I talk to? I, I'm not... Uh, senpai? Senpai. Notice me, Senpai. Seriously. I'm down here. Would it help if I was this... I don't... I, don't th I wanted to do an interview with him, but I don't think he's actually going to talk to me. Tell me a little bit. Are you really Thor? No, 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 I'm not really Thor. I, I look like Thor or Chris Hemsworth, um, mainly because of the hair, I guess few other attributes but uh, no I'm not I'm definitely not him did the hair come first or yeah the hair came first I, I sort of grew it out um, and then I was just getting daily comments you know you, you look like you look like Chris you look like Thor so it was inevitable I had to do it I just I just had to do it I'm here with Brina is that yes the that way is correct. pronounced Brina Palencia Brina Palencia mm -hmm. I got it man I yeah. five. nailed it <gasps> Now, you are one of our voice actor superstars, mm -hmm. but I understand that you've voiced a number of different characters from a number of different genres. Yes, I have. TV shows, animes, Video games. games. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me, is it different voicing characters from different media? Uh, yeah, definitely. Anime is its own animal because it's all, it's a dub. So it's all pre-animated and you're having to match all the mouth movements. So to me, anime is the most difficult. But then with uh, pretty much any other voice acting, it's much more freeing because you don't have to match the animation. So the timing is not as specific. Uh, so you're 
kind of free to be a lot more creative. So, but I think because I got my start doing anime, it's basically like uh, acting with weights on. I feel like it's made uh, the crossover into all the other different genres much easier, actually. Yeah. It's like, oh, this is all I have to do? Okay, easy. Have you gotten to the end of recording voices for a series and still never met? your co-stars oh yeah absolutely yeah I mean there are times there are times that I've gone years without meeting somebody and they'll be like oh hey you were in that one show that we did like five years ago and I play this character and you play that character nice to finally meet you that Does happens happen all the time cons? yeah yeah I often especially because uh, Funimation I think more so than a lot of other dubbing houses will use pe utilize people from all over you know mm -hmm. they'll even though they're based in Dallas they'll still use people in Houston or in Los Angeles or in New York um, and so, especially because of that, there's a lot of times that I won't meet people in, unless we go to a convention together. Do you find that the fans that you have from some games or anime are different to fans that you've had from yeah, other media? Yeah, definitely. Even, even within anime, I mean, the people who are fans of uh, Beck, pardon the pun, um, <laughs> Uh, are are probably the most different because they tend because it's such a slice of life show. Mm -hmm. They tend to be very chill and very just like, oh hey, I dig music. Will you sign my guitar? Thanks, bye. And that whereas people like I think Italia is like fans are the complete opposite end of that spectrum as far as the most intense like nah, I want to talk about shipping and nah, I love boys. Mm. Like they just are probably the most intense of all of the fandoms that I've come across. And then like uh, like border. Lance fans tend to be a lot more uh, kind of in the middle. Uh, but yeah, it really, it differs from show to show. Is it enjoyable seeing people dressed as characters that you've watched? Yes, that's one of my favorite things to see, actually. I think it's like the biggest compliment. Like, oh, you love this character enough that you actually took the time to make this costume. Or even if they just bought it. Like, you, you were actually committing to dressing as this character for an entire weekend. It's incredible.